Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little third trimester baby girl collective haul and an update. So I'm currently 31 weeks when I'm filming this. So I'm going to give you a little update on how I'm feeling and just show you some of the cute things that I've picked up for baby girl recently. Okay, she has so many clothes. You guys, her closet and dresser drawers are completely full. So I'm not going to show you like all of the new clothes that I've gotten her. I just pulled out a few things that are favorites. So the first is her swimsuit. My mom got this for her and I love this so much. I love the purple with like the coral and peach palm leaves on it. It's so pretty, but it also has a ruffle butt. Like that just makes it so much better. Anything with a ruffle butt is so cute and I'm gonna freak out when I see her in this. I think this is adorable. I picked up a little two pack of shorts for her from Carter's and they are so precious. I decided to go with the black and the black and white stripes, but they come in a bunch of colors on their website. But they're just like little bubble shorts, stretchy shorts. I got them in the newborn size. Are these not the cutest things? She has a little onesie that I ordered that's white with black writing with her name on it. So that with these little shorts and a cute bow is going to be one of her first outfits. I found this beautiful onesie at Marshall's and I love the colors of it. It's like sherbet ice cream and it's so pretty and it's a zip up one. It zips all the way down to the feet. I think I got this one in three to six months but aren't these colors so pretty? It's super cozy too. My mom got her the cutest little pack of dresses. I love this floral dress. I think it's adorable. Love the bow and all the big bold flowers so pretty and then it comes with a blue and white stripe one too and then my mom got her this like adorable little play suit and this is one of my favorite outfits in her entire closet it's so cute and unique with the floral and then like the polka dots around it it's just precious i think this one might be from zulily but i'm not sure um but i thought this was super unique and fun and then i was at target the other day and i picked up this little sleeper for her in the newborn size she has a lot of zero to three but needed a few more newborn ones so I thought this one was cute with the ruffles down the front and it was on clearance for like I don't know I want to say like four dollars but I thought that was super cute I love all the onesies and sleepers that have like animals and things on the feet my mom also got her this adorable little stuffed unicorn and I love this I think it looks so much like the cuddle and kind dolls which I showed in my last baby haul she has a couple of those as well but these really remind me of them. Um, you can find these at like Marshalls and TJ Maxx. But she has this unicorn one and an elephant one that she got for Christmas. But I love this little unicorn. So her dresser is going to be her changing table as well. So we're going to have her changing pad like on top of the dresser. And then in one of the drawers, like the middle drawer, I have a bunch of diapers and diaper changing things. But I wanted to get a little basket to keep on top just to have a few things in there to like really quickly grab and just have on hand really easily. So I got this one from Home Goods the other day. And it has um, a label on the other side that says little things so you could do it either way. But right now I have it facing this way. So I just have some little newborn diapers in here. I'll put the link to the diapers that we're using down below but they're bamboo diapers and they're extremely soft and they're a monthly subscription service so they come right to your door. And then we're gonna be using water wipes, which I feel like are everyone's favorite wipes. I found these on the Target clearance rack as well, these little black ruffle butt leggings. She has them in gray and pink, but these were like $3 so I had to grab them. You can always use a pair of black leggings. They're just little newborn size. I think they're adorable. They're Cat and Jack brand. Oh, this is a favorite thing that I've picked up for her recently. I love this. So I found this blanket at Marshalls and it's like the prettiest shade of pink. It kind of matches her walls and then it has the green palm leaves all over it. And I thought this was fun because she's going to be born in the summer. But it is the softest baby blanket I've ever felt. I wish you guys could feel this right now. She has a bunch of soft blankets, but this one is like by far the softest. It's amazing. I picked up a pack of the Philips Avent pacifiers in the zero to three month size. And I'm not even sure if she's going to use these, but I was just walking down the baby aisle at my grocery store the other day and they were half price. So I just decided to pick up a pack to have on hand because I know everybody loves these. These are like a favorite. Um, all the kids that I've watched and like babysat and nanny for, everybody always has these. So decided to grab some. I love these little baby washcloths. Aren't the colors so pretty? I love the pink and mint green. And then some of them have like the little mermaid pattern. Love these. 
let me know what you guys think is like the best baby bathtub down below on my registry right now i have like the angel care one i think is what it's called and then i also have that like blooming flower one that goes in the sink so let me know what you guys think did you use that like flower one it seems like it would be useful just to do like a little sink bath especially when they're a lot tinier i feel like that would be helpful but let me know what you guys think and then i got her the prettiest little bow i love this shade of purple i hope it's showing up well on camera but it has like silver shimmer threading all throughout and it came with matching little booty socks so i'll show you guys those in a sec so it's too big to hold up and fit on the screen so i'll insert a clip for you but i got her this blanket a long time ago like when i first found out i was having a girl and then recently my mom found the matching play mat which is like a huge plush circle play mat and it was so lucky that she found that because it was like so far apart i got this like months ago and she just happened to find the play mat recently in the same print all right so now i'm going to flip the camera around i want to show you guys her artwork piece that's in her nursery that i love it's so beautiful um so i want to show you guys that and then the little booties that match her bow okay so this is the artwork i chose for her nursery and i'm in love with it i think it's the perfect baby girl nursery piece here are some of her little booties. I put them in this acrylic box, and these are the ones that match the bow. Aren't those so sweet? All right, so a little update on how I'm feeling. I think I mentioned I'm 31 weeks right now, so I'm getting excited. I think, you know, full term is like 37 weeks. So she's gonna be here in about like six to nine weeks, which is so crazy, and I'm so excited. I feel really prepared. Her room, is like finished and i feel like we have everything that she needs my baby shower is in like a week and a half so everything that i don't already have she'll be getting then and i'm getting very very excited she is so active i have so many videos on my phone of her just going crazy in my stomach i film it all the time because she bounces around and dances in there all day long when i lay down at night she goes crazy and i love it it's weird to think back on like the beginning of pregnancy when you don't feel anything and you're just like counting on them being in there because I remember being so worried and stressed out during that time. Like every day you just like hope that they're okay and it's so weird because now she just like is dancing in me all the time and I love it. So you guys know I was super sick in the beginning. I'm sorry for those of you who don't like to hear about like throw up and stuff but I threw up like every day almost sometimes three times a day or more until i was 16 weeks and then it kind of like tapered off then and then it was only every few weeks but my nausea is starting to come back now sadly um i've been feeling pretty sick in the mornings and i've gotten sick a few times i got sick on our baby moon which was during week 26 i think i actually threw up in an uber that was really awkward luckily i had a bag with me and the guy was so nice but it was so hot and we were in like traffic for a really long time. I was on the way to the airport to come home from our baby moon and I got sick. And then I threw up again on Memorial Day. It used to be like before I had eaten, if I got like too hungry, I would feel really sick. But now it's like after I eat, I feel so bad. Overall though, I'm feeling really good. I have had some leg cramps like the Charlie horses in your lower leg where I will wake up just like screaming. It's like the most excruciating pain ever. And I had never had those before until just recently. So I got one and my husband was telling me to like stand up and like put pressure on it. I like thought he was insane. I could not move my leg. I would just wanted to like scream and lay there. But I finally got up and stood up and like pushed on it and that totally works. Those are excruciating. I feel like I have a high pain tolerance, but oh my goodness, a Charlie horse that wakes you up in the middle of the night, that is painful. So I ordered the cutest little matching hospital bags for baby and I, and I love them. They're personalized and I can't wait for them to come in the mail. I think they're gonna be here in a few days. So I am gonna be doing a what's in my hospital bag video and what's in baby's hospital bag. And then before that, I'm also gonna be doing like a shop with me for my hospital bag vlog where we go to like Target or somewhere and I show you guys like picking out everything that I'm gonna be bringing with me, like toiletries and all that. And then I probably won't actually pack the bag for a little while. I'm not really sure when. Let me know in the comments below when you packed yours and like when you think a good time is. I definitely wanna do it before 37 weeks because that's full term. So I just feel like just in case I should have it 
packed and ready to go. So that's it you guys. I hope you enjoyed this haul and update. If you like bump dates, follow me on Instagram because I post um, a lot over there. Um, bump shots and stuff. So definitely follow me on Instagram if you're not already and I will see you guys really soon. Bye.